morning student welcome for today's science class in 7th how are you all i hope you all are fine and we are on the part 4th of this chapter 10th that is respiration in organism we have covered few topics that is internal and external respiration we have covered aerobic and anaerobic respiration even we have covered in the last topic how we breathe right the respiratory system we have covered over there with the diagram i hope you have practiced that diagram and learned the mechanism very well okay let's continue with this topic with what makes us breathe what makes us breathe okay so first uh, diaphragm is involved you can see the diagram diaphragm is there and it is very much responsible for the breathing right it's an upward and downward movement of the diaphragm as we exhaling out and inhaling out uh, inhaling in and exhaling out all involves the diaphragm movement okay so here we are going to explain this diaphragm movement okay it is just below the ribs you can see the diagram and i am explaining first inhalation right when we inhale inhale the air that is clear up to you inhaling inhalation of the air involves oxygen okay the ribs are pushed upwards and outwards ribs are pushed upwards and outwards kyunki whenever the air is coming inside it what will happen it will swell up like a balloon right so it is pushed upward and outwards and the diaphragm contracts and when it contracts what will happen it will go downwards and increases the shape in the chest cavity it will increase the shape in the chest cavity and what will involved in this air rushes into the lungs and lungs will expand and lungs will expand again i'll repeat inhalation process oxygen is getting inside how like the ribs are pushed outwards and upwards upwards and outwards as the air rushes out into this and the diaphragm contracts and it push downwards that increases the shape in the chest cavity and the air rushes into the lungs as a result lungs expand this is all you have to learn you have to draw this diagram of diaphragm and you have to learn it very nicely now beta we are taking exhalation inhalation we have done now we are continuing with exhalation see exhalation is the giving out of air that is co2 is evolved out and the intercostal muscles relaxed these muscles will relaxed and two things are happening at the same time first is a the ribs moves down words and inwards means ribs are moving downwards and inwards in that inhalation outwards and in this inwards okay just a pause it the diaphragm relaxes and moves upward in that case the diaphragm is going down and in this case it is coming again up you can see in the diagram it moves upwards and the diaphragm relaxes okay so what will uh, show this this shows the decrease the space in chest cavity and lungs lungs get empty and get contract lungs get empty and get contract this is all we have started about exhalation i'll repeat exhalation involves the co2 exhaling out and muscles relaxed in this case ribs moves downwards and inwards and the diaphragm relaxes and move upwards that decrease the shape in the chest cavity and lungs get empty and contract you have to learn this diagram draw this diagram and try to learn this now we are continuing with this what we breathe out yes beta what we breathe out we breathe out co2 even we breathe in oxygen 
we breathe out CO2 and we breathe in water vapors and even we breathe out water vapors too. So this is the box I have prepared which make you clear with this. Like oxygen is inhaled 21% during inhalation and 16.4% is exhaled out. Of course, it is exhaled out when we exhaling CO2, it is also exhaled out. Okay, so it involves both. CO2, 0.04% is again inhaled with the oxygen. This much ga gas is inhaled with the oxygen, 0.04% and 4.4% is exhaled out. Of course, now water vapors are very little amount they are inhaled in and a very lot of amount is exhaled out from our body during exhalation. Now this is inhalation and this is exhalation. This has to be learned oxygen 21% exhaled out 64.4% and CO2 0.04% is inhaled and exhaled is 4.4%. And a very little amount of water vapor is inhaled and a very lot of amount is exhaled out. So next we are uh, involving in this a sneezing topic is also there. What happened during sneezing? Many unwanted particles are roaming in our environment which involves the dust particles also. And it's create a kind of allergy also in our nostrils. Even we are having the hairs, many of the dust particles are exhibited but many particles get inside our nose so that creates irritation allergies right and when these unwanted particles these unwanted particles cause irritation and get inside our nose cause sneezing and we sneeze out okay of course when they are getting inside we have to throw them out that's called sneezing okay so related to this diseases when we are taking a lot of unwanted particles and dust and smoke and these kind of things even the smoke of the uh, cigarettes beads and uh, many thing is from gases which are coming out from vehicles and all a lot of pollution gases are there pollutants are there in our environment so it involves the disease lungs cancer yes it involves the disease lungs can cancer the person who inhale or the person who take the BD cigarettes and all will both are the same affected. Both the persons are same affected and so we should avoid these persons also, right? These uh, pollutant areas also. So lungs cancer can be possible. One more disease is that is emphysema. This is this uh, this can be occur when we are going to such areas where BD cigarettes and all these kind of smokings are done. So this disease can be occur. Learn the name of these two diseases, okay? And uh, learn this topic. Read this topic. Yes, Peter. Let's start the inhalation and exhalation differentiate between. Let's cover this topic also. So you will see this column in your book that is table 10.2 differentiate between inhalation and exhalation. It involves a few parameters and you will make a column inhalation as well as exhalation. Movement of air, air rich in oxygen flows into the lungs and air rich in carbon dioxide Air rich in carbon dioxide is formed out of lungs. So this is the movement of air first parameter. Second parameter movement of ribs. Ribs moves upward and outward. Move, ribs move upward and outward. And exhalation ribs move downward and inward. Now second parameter was done. Third is movement of diaphragm. Diaphragm contracts and moves downward and in exhalation process diaphragm relaxes and move upward. Okay, then fourth parameter is volume of chest cavity. 
बेटा वेन द डायफ्रम कॉन्ट्रैक्ट्स एंड इट मूव्स डाउनवर्ड ऑफकोर्स देर इज़ अ वॉल्यूम स्पेस इन बिटवीन द चेस्ट कैविटी सो वॉल्यूम ऑफ चेस्ट कैविटी इंक्रीजेज एंड वेन द डायफ्रम बेटा मूव्स अपवर्ड्स एंड इट वेन इट इज रिलैक्सिंग ऑफकोर्स द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द चेस्ट कैविटी डिक्रीजेज ओके सो वॉट अबाउट लंग्स फिफ्थ पैरामीटर इज लंग्स लंग्स विल एक्सपैंड वेन द चेस्ट कैविटी इंक्रीजेज एंड द वॉल्यूम increases and in the exhalation process when the chest cavity decreases lungs contracts and the volume decreases that's uh, this is the differentiate that you have to learn and you have to do in the notebook also so beta this all we have done for today revise this topic learn this topic well we will meet you in the next class thank you have a nice day